Hi, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead, and I have a new story for you today, and it looks beautiful to me. Its title is, let's see, Thanks to the Animals. This is a picture book, a native picture book, and it was written by a man named Alan Sockabasin. That's an interesting story. Thanks to the animals. Winter had arrived. Jutum worked for days preparing for a trip north with his family. He took apart their house near the shore and stacked the cedar logs on the bobsled. Everyone helped. It's interesting taking apart their log house. They packed the family's sled with his tools and the meats and fish and vegetables harvested during the summer when the days were long. It was loaded to the very top with precious food, but Jutum made sure there was room for his children to ride in the back. Everyone dressed in warm seal skin clothes for the long trip. It was the time to go to their winter home in the deep woods. The horses pulled the sled slowly through the new snow. That would be a lot of work to pull a whole house and everything in it. Zusap was not yet a walking, but he was a strong baby. Born in the spring, he rode on the sled with the other children. As the shadows grew longer, the older children slept. But then little Zoo Sap stood up and tumbled off the sled. Oh, how Zoo Sap cried. His voice filled the whole sky. And there he is. He fell off. And so he's crying. The animals of the forest were alerted by his crying. First to come were the beaver. They knew how to keep him warm and dry, so their tails so they put their tails together and cradled Zoo Sap. Zusap still cried, so the moose came, then the bear and the caribou and the deer. The fox and the wolf came too. All the big animals lay together in a circle. Then the smaller animals came. The raccoons, porcupines, rabbits, weasels, and mink. The muskrat and otter and squirrels came too. They gathered and filled in the cracks between the big animals as, sun, as the sunset owl came. I'll show you first this picture. See how they're all coming together? They're covering up that little baby. I 
guess that'll keep him pretty warm. Then the raven, crow, jay, duck, and goose came to perch on top. Even a seagull came. <laughs> There's a seagull. Oh my. Can't even see the little baby now. Last came the great bald eagle, who spread her wings over the other birds and animals. Zeus sap stayed warm. When Jutum arrived at his winter home, he knew something was very wrong. Zusap was missing. Zutum quickly lit a fire for his family and got them settled. Then he turned back to the trail to find his son. Look, they're so sad, they're crying. They're very scared for the baby. For little Zusap. He traveled through the woods all night, and just as sunrise came, he came to a big mound of snow. Resting on top was the great bald eagle. A very interesting story. I knew you would come back for Zoo Sap, the eagle said. June Tum looked down and saw his son safely sleeping in a great pile of warm animals. Zutum thanked the animals one by one. Then he took Zusap in his strong arms and went back to his family. He thanked them all. Saying thank you is very important. When they arrived that evening, there was feasting and dancing. What a celebration. They were so happy. Wow, that was an interesting story. I really loved it. Thanks to the Animals is a story of a traditional transitional time for the Pasmagwadi people. The family in the story has horses, but is still migrating away from the ocean and into the woods as the first snows fall. The story is also just what it says, an offering of thanks to the animals that sustained their people through the generations. So that was very, very nice story. I love this story. I hope you did too. Thanks to the animals. All right, this is Maria from Maria Tells a Story and um, my homesteading one. So I just want to pray blessings on you and yours in your house, out of your house, in the day and the night. Always remember, keep dreaming and keep a story in your heart. Bye-bye.